Welcome back to week two of our Sacramento City Miners relocation fantasy draft franchise. We're about to go on and face the Baltimore Ravens team that usually does not play well in game, but we also just don't play well in game either. And obviously last game, if you watched it, broken tackles was a huge problem. And I was thinking, you know, maybe the sliders are just crazy sliders. You know, maybe I've got them too low. I only have the tackling at 47 out of 50. 50 is normal. 47 out of 50 um, you know, I don't know what to tell you. It's on all Madden, which obviously plays a big factor, but our guys are just genuinely bad at tackling. Um, I know McCollum did drop a pick, but typically, you know, when did McCollum have like 12 interceptions last season? That doesn't happen. So I like those sliders, but I did bump run blocking and pass blocking up two. The line's not great, but it should be a little bit better considering the level of talent we played. Like, Deron Payne is not that great of a pass rusher, yet he literally looked like Aaron Donald out there against us. So, change that a little bit. But overall, that's the sliders we're rocking with. Going on to week two. Don't know if we had anyone that was good enough for a breakout, but maybe we got lucky. We'll see. Did also sort the scouts out. I think we are focusing on the offensive line now. No breakout. Not, ex you know pretty expected uh we're focusing on the offensive line now for the draft is the trenches once again still kind of the problem uh definitely uh the focus if you will let's take a look at the players of the week uh that's the wrong thing that schedules i want to see if we gave one up i don't i mean the quarterback was accurate but he didn't put up any crazy numbers and obviously on the defense both sides are pretty tame uh didn't give up anything crazy which is nice uh i guess chubb maybe had a chance but obviously they did not agree with that so it's mini win. It's not a great win, but it's a mini win. Uh, one more game until Montgomery's back, but how long will he be back for? Who freaking knows? But seemingly missed in that first game. Tony House already morale dropped. Same with the center, as uh, you know, they both didn't play well. Specifically, uh, the center and the the guard really, which of course will lead to the benching of Ingram, who gave up two sacks last game, and a lot of those times he was in a double team, and he was giving up sacks like. Hanks was left on his own as a center a lot, and he gave up two sacks. Fair enough, but Ingram always doubling for the most part, giving up two sacks is ridiculous. And as far as the linebackers go, Leo Chanel will be the uh, the number one linebacker again just for this week, as Nisraldine obviously had a abysmal abysmal Dean performance week i'm not gonna even talk anymore let's just get into the game and josh allen for the ravens injured for five weeks with a foot fracture which makes it a lot easier on us i'll tell you that much the ravens out with will levis i remember him running a lot against us last time zeke elliott the running back was pretty decent more in the receiving game though than the actual ground game i believe terry mclaurin is obviously a problem cooks is still good and then six four perriman is their number three who actually had some big time plays for them no offense a difference maker uh, left tackle's amazing, left guard solid, center solid, uh, right guard is solid, he's huge as well, and then right tackle's really good, really good offensive line in general, defensively, not the most athletic left end in the world, right end is, you know, versatile hybrid guy, DT's pretty good at run defense, left outside linebacker who is replacing the injured Josh Allen, actually looks okay as a rookie, Good decision on the draft pick by them as their depth is terrible, if not for him. Inside linebackers, athletic and solid. Thibodeau is their best pass rusher now that uh, Josh Allen is injured, and he does look really good in general. Cornerbacks are very solid. Free safety is amazing. Strong safety is very athletic. So this is a pretty good team. This is a very good team. And right before we go into the game, we have a couple of upgrades. Mr. Vaughn Sneed, the rookie, definitely did not have a great game. Uh, you know, going against a pretty good tackle that's built to stop power rushers, so probably their perfect uh, scenario. And obviously, I didn't switch him with Benito because Benito had a good matchup, so I was hoping he would just win his two power move for Vaughn Sneed. That is amazing. 79 power move, almost to 80. The punter is already almost maxed and kick power. Might as well try to forget them almost max and just make him maxed. Doesn't happen here, though, with the accuracy upgrade, 85 accuracy. Uh, and then Curtis Kennedy with an upgrade. Suppose more release type of stuff, right? Deep threat doesn't really matter. You know, deep route. Catching in general is pretty bad for him, which physical you would think would do that, right? So we're going to go with physical here. Get some release. Get some catching maybe. Nice two to release. Got some catching. That's that's a good upgrade. We take it. Nice. And then Nick Benito, obviously speed rusher. Not good in the run defense, but we want somebody to at least be good at pass rushing. It's an okay upgrade, another Excel, making him even faster than he already was. 78, finesse, 
really could use a dev up for him. And now you're probably asking yourself, well, why didn't you just keep Barno then? It's like, well, he's a year older, but more importantly, Benito's played better. And, you know, if Benito does get that breakout, he gets that boost of XP, whereas, you know, Barno is unlikely to get to Superstar. Another daytime game here in uh, Sacramento. At home against the Baltimore Ravens, a team that uh, definitely gave us a fight last time, but overall, it's just not a team that's built for, like, air raid or anything like that, although the Patriots aren't either, and they make quick work of us with efficiency rather than, you know, flashy plays, if you will. Uh, speaking of flashy plays, at number 14, he's got them in the bag. Let's see if we can have any of those today. The Jets are flying through, feeling good. This, this could be our first win. I feel good about it. I think it's uh, there's a good chance of it. Uh, we played pretty well last week. It's just the defense got to wrap up better and, in general, stick to your man a little bit more. Maybe, speak, speaking of, actually run more man. Ran a little bit of man coverage, but it just felt like the man coverage was costing us in the ground game, so I just didn't do it as we just had guys turned around too often. And, you know, when they broke that first contain line, it's just guys are still sticking to their man. They're like, I got my man. It's like, yeah, we know. It's been a run play for the last four seconds. The ball carrier's in the end zone, idiot. But anyways, let's get into this one. Hopefully come off to a good start and, once again, develop that run game. For a little bit, the run game was kind of cooking, and then it just fell apart. They they stacked the box, and we just didn't force them to come out of it. Try to receive first because last week it didn't really go too well kicking first, but they don't care, especially at home. They're going to get the coin toss, so they get to win it and receive it as Wilkins going to try to make a play. Oh, wow, nice little slip off, but only to the 22. That is all right. Quarterback, Mr. Levis. Let's take a look at how he's starting the season off. With a bang? With a not bang. Uh, with a one completion or attempt. Did he get injured? He must have got injured in game one and then just came back the next game, I guess. Okay, I suppose. Fair enough, if, if you must. Zeke. Looking at those numbers last week, probably salivating. He's like, part two, baby. And that is a wide open McLaurin. Didn't think he was. I tried to actually bump him on the way through and didn't really get a piece of him. And uh, I didn't think they were actually going to continue to have him that open. Maybe should have followed him after the fact. Huge gainer, though. They even had the tight end. Fant was open as well. Drop. Let's go mid. Marcus Jones, one on one. Going to get stiff trucked, but. Got some help. Yeah, defense so far has looked really bad. Preseason wasn't great, but it wasn't this bad. And they're still not even running it. Deep! And there it goes, McCollum. At least getting a hand in there. Kind of bodied him up, but did enough. Got off the, the third down, or got off to third down. Let's get a little press. I mean, it's just not working out with a, without it, so might as well. Deep is open, but I got a stick. Somebody get off the line. Anyone at all, and the ball's up there, but it won't get there, and that will be a punt. Coverage sack is, it took long enough, but they finally got to him. I'd like to see Sneed get a little more, uh, you know, creative. He just bull rushed all the way through, finally did push the tackle into him, but, I mean, a little late at that point, and this punt, not terrible, but definitely not good. First game, not bad from Fisher, actually. You know, a lot of incompletions that weren't really even his fault, and... Overall, accuracy was really on point. I wanted to go with Kennedy on like a zig. Couldn't do it, so going for the streak. I'm going to take it first play. And almost picked on the first play somehow, and Kayvon Thibodeau is now injured. Their edge looks pretty bad right now. Quick throw potentially to Cody. I mean, this looks like a blitz, so got to get this one out quick. Off the line, not bad, and dropped. And now, smartly, on 3rd and 10, because there's no threat of a run, they're going to back him up. And that's going to be picked off. Waited, and he just never got open. That's just a force. And to the outside, he's running for the end zone. Slips it all the way to the 3 on a near pick 6. Cody was the closest to getting a first down, and he just didn't really get a good route and never had separation. It was just a force. Should have just held on to it longer. Read option, and Will Levis gets popped to the knee. Slips off one, but not the other. Well, I mean, we reached our goal of last game of not throwing our first pick on our first game, but first drive of the second game, we threw a pick, so it's about the same, to be honest. And we need somebody to come up. Nicobe Dean doesn't. That is a touchdown. So far, this one definitely on the offense's fault. Marquise Goodwin, close a couple of times last game, and looking pretty good this one. 
Gets us to the 33. Looks really good. A lot of plays where Zach Evans is the running back, which, I mean, I don't really care. Whoever, <laughs> you know, works. And there goes Evans showing off a lot of speed on that, that burst up the middle. Holy. To the outside. Once again, they're lacking right now on the edge. Unless that is tipped back. I don't know if it is. And House not trucking. A little worrisome so far. You know, House not really looking that great. It is what it is. It's early. Early in the season. It's a tough one. But Kennedy's on that. Can't hold on. Really good footwork. Just got to hold on. Zero for four so far with an interception. Pass game looking horrendous. Come on, let's get something. Let's get a layup. And drops it. He drops. How is that a drop? There's actually no way. Tight end's open. Perfect throw. Finally a completion. And he gets a lot of yards on it on top of it, thankfully. Oh, my. One for six. Almost more incompletions this game than all of last game combined. Like, really? Come on, guys. And it's not the quarterback. House. House! Big fella. Down to the 14, and now Cody's injured. Well, good thing Albert O looks so good in preseason. Am I right? Because we may need him. We need him as of right now. And there goes Evans. Trying to truck. Down to the two. To the one. And now the right guard is injured. Foot sprain for Cody, thankfully. Alberto still going to be the guy that gets the, the nod here. And, I mean, I kind of want to run this pass play because they're ready. Big fella. Touchdown, Kennedy. And I wasn't trying to, like, stat pad the quarterback. I legitimately just – that's just a front you don't want to run against. I don't care who your running back is. How's with the top? There we go. Defense forcing a stop. Kind of. <laughs> And then the offense scoring, and they will keep it to Zeke, who is fighting. Gets about five. Zeke last week, okay performance, right? It's not bad. I mean, I can see that this run blocking scheme slash team just doesn't really look great for them somehow. I mean, we're looking okay against the run in this one. It's a good press. Went over the curl route, and Zeke, like we talked about, you know, better in the receiving game last time. I wouldn't say showing that so far, but... That's catch number one. <laughs> it's beginning. Little delay handoff. Where? Oh, that's our. Mm, didn't see him come out. Cover the inside because that's. It looked like it was just a two route play, and the fullback just peels out last second. Did a pretty good job covering the inside. I suppose in the end, it probably would have been the same play regardless. If we weren't there, he throws it to the middle and easily converts that. And Sneed, that was like a brick wall. Good play. Still don't know what his dev is, so I mean. He could be a superstar. Could be an X Factor for all we know, but we'll find out until it happens. And trying to contain blocking that time was great as Zeke was just, I mean, he was walking. He was walking through. He didn't even have to sprint. Run of the blitz. This would be a field goal situation, but it would be better than giving up a touchdown, obviously. And one-on-one. -on -one. Can't get it. Stopped fourth and inches from the 36. Is this a go for? I think so. They're going to agree this could be a read option. Let's go with I couldn't get over there in time. And he got it on a second effort. The little man. The little man quite literally slipped under for the first down. Actually slipped under the tackle. Oh, the quarterback keeper will be a holding. I don't know who that was against, but we are absolutely happy to take it. Appear to be the tight end on the play. Talked about bringing more man coverage, but man coverage just looked really bad for us anyways. Antwine. Oh, look at Antwine. Ooh, get out there, Allen. Nice tackle. Great, great concentration. Don't let him, you know, get you feeling pumped. I love it. Antoine with a nice push, though. God, I love it. Trust in the, in the man coverage here. Oh, come on. Good play out there, but still gains a ton of it. 12 yards. All right, Neil. Actually did all right blitzing in preseason. Coming in on this one with a huge DB set. And one-on-one -on -one tackle for Marcus Jones against a 6'4 player, and he does enough. The momentum obviously helping him carry to the outbounds line, and the little man does it. Barely. Pressure actually was about to get there as well, and we did enough. Ronnie Ellis on that play, actually, and doing pretty well. He actually was one of the closest players to the quarterback, despite the fact the blitz came from the other side. 
And that field goal will be up and good. They will get the three-point lead, but this is much better than last week. Don't know if you could really uh, put a three-yard touchdown drive on uh, on the defense. So, of course, Goodwin. I don't want to risk him for injury, but he's just been good enough to where you just don't care where he's returning from. You give him a chance. I mean, even there, he got contacted to the 20, gets to the 23. Fake out with Naylor. I don't know how this is going to work because this usually doesn't bait anyone. And uh, Evan's going to get some blocks. Protect that ball, gains 12. Second quarter, numbers don't look terrible. Already more rush yards than last game, I believe, as a whole. Got the RPO, but this is not a good one. And there goes Kennedy. Stiff arm gets the first down. Looking really fast off the line there. Love it. Look at that. I mean, he's not even the greatest throw in the world. Just kind of did what we could to get that ball out quick, whether it was accurate or not. Passing in play. Don't know if we're going to hit done. Albert O burning, but there is a hold. Can't really blame him because there was a blitz, so he probably, I mean, decent chance he saved a sack. Run play in first and 10, or first and 20, why not? As House gets about three. Double move inside. Kind of want to just streak Kennedy. See what happens on that side. In some trouble, kind of just forced it. Done with a really good try, though. It's a good throw, just uh, no one open and felt the pressure. Escobar with the speed, maybe. And misses the throw while oh, wow. That is Fisher's worst miss from preseason all the way to this game. And it was a first down miss. Punt looks to be pretty good. And it will be very good. Down to the seven. Six yard line. Even better. This punter is cooking. All right. Disappointing drive there is uh, the defense, you know, holding him to three. And then obviously ultimately uh, it was us that caused us to not make it. You know, if it's pressure. Oh, good try. Good job by Tindall on the chase down. But, you know, if it's pass rush, someone not going to open fair enough, but it was a bad throw. That's just, that can't be the reason. It just can't be the reason, even if he is a rookie. Bishop gets blocked last second. And Kobe Dean does enough, though. It is now a third and two, manageable for both sides. More for them, though, as they've been pretty easily gaining yards. And read option. Turn around, McComb. This is why we're talking about with... Uh, you know, man coverage hurting us in the ground game. Guy's getting burned off the line. He's still chasing him, and obviously the runoff, it works because, you know, he's still running despite the fact that the quarterback has the ball still. Running the ball. <laughs> Loss of one. All right, good job, Bishop. Come with the blitz. Uh, Sneed's not that athletic, but he's athletic enough, and it's a good trick because who expects him to drop? And outside burned is Allen. First down to Cooks, cooking. All right, more man coverage and a run look, but we are pressing, so hopefully we get up to the line quicker. And to Kobe Dean, good job. Levis, though, the big man he is, getting back to the line of scrimmage on it anyways. Who is this? Tyndall. Okay, I can live with it. Kobe Dean, and there is, I mean, was that not a, a press? Getting cooked off the line is McCollum. First down. Like, we almost might have to just, like, throw all of our assets at a pass rusher because this is just crazy and there goes uh, that man Zeke first down and then some like we might have to throw like multiple draft picks in for some crazy pass rusher because right now it's just there's these defensive formations it's like almost unwinnable because we can't get to the damn quarterback and Nicobe Dean can't get there it is a absolute dot to the fullback who is now to the seven on a crazy one how does he hit that? That is a literal dot. How does that even happen? Inside, bring him down. I mean, we kind of contained the edge. Didn't think we needed the help on the inside. There was already three guys that were, like, unaccounted for pretty much. Bishop, nobody's on the running back. So if it's like a run to the a third of the left. Oh, I just left the fullback wide open. And Palomao is, he's, like, talking sweet nothing, nothings to his defender or his receiver. I don't know why he doesn't turn around. This part is there's an ability where a home team has trouble blocking. I think they got that one wrong and just they, they just read off that like the home team just he's, they're really bad at blocking. It's not even an ability. Try to cut right, don't get hurt. Goodwin has been uh, really good. I suppose the right guard's back and healthy. That's good. Unless he already was and I just didn't notice. Play action. Not gonna have much time to throw, but does a great job getting out there and. Turner turns it into a first down and then some. Considering there was really no room to work at all, it's, it's good effort. It's good play. Inside handoff to Evans, who will not get as much as he's used to and gets popped like he's used to 
Gains about five. Once again, there's no uh, there's no question about it. Tony House is a tougher job when it comes to what he's running against, and Dunn gets hammered. I thought we were going to get that in front of him, and guy just made a crazy good play. Kennedy on the inside. I don't really like the uh, the curl route, but I do like Kennedy. There's nobody on the outside to Naylor. Tries a juke, can't, gets popped first down, though. No fumble, thankfully. Like, look, at they're, like, blitzing everything because they're like, oh, it's a run, clearly. Yeah, that's a throwaway. Had a couple of looks at those tight ends early off the snap, but didn't like them. Alberto, not quite the route runner. Oh, okay. I was about to say not quite the route runner, but he is fast. Got a piece from Sertan. If not, he might have been able to stiff arm for the score. They just left him completely. House on the inside handoff. Once again, it's like they know that we're running it. And House doesn't care. Easy touchdown. Great blocks and runs forward for the first down. Thank you, House, for getting in there. House having to really struggle some time at the start of this season. It's worrying that it's like he's almost giving me like uh, Peyton Hillis vibes. It's worrying. Like really good year and then just nothing. Does nothing. The reason why I left him open, because he just had nowhere to go. That's a free play, pretty much. Stepping up. Gonna have to come back. I mean, all the time in the world. Trying to run this defense on the secondary. Anyone want to get open? That is crazy. Gets about six yards on a play that took all day. I'm not going to call a timeout. Our defense is way too bad. And I get it, right? We, we ran, like, nobody for the pass rush, but, like, Better than that, still. Please. Can't get over there. That is our coverage, but at one point, do you realize we've switched? We're covering your guy perfectly. Why would you come back to cover a guy that doesn't need to be covered? You know? Just, like, do the job. Do the common sense. Here's a chance. Oh, and there is nobody on him. That probably is our fault. It's a good tackle inside after the, the broken one to the 30. I guess man coverage and prey is the goal. Allen with the safety help because McLaurin's a bad man. Bishop free rush. Gets a piece of him. Fights hard. Gets past the running back and does enough. Let's go back to it. Maybe make it a little less obvious, but we're not going to. And inside, it's kind of our coverage. Stop, but once again, there's really no point in calling a timeout. Just let them do what they got to do. We gotta stop here, maybe, just to give ourselves a look. Uh, beat me by an inch. Damn it. No timeouts for them, and, you know, think about if we would have used a timeout earlier on third and four. You know, more time for them, maybe even a timeout. Instead, they're more limited, but they could still score. Outside, back in the end zone. Is he gonna throw it away? Is he gonna keep it in bounds? And dropped by both sides. That really hurts. And that's obviously halftime, but instead now they have a chance again. Maybe take the shot. I'm not really sure. Takes the running back. I'm not really sure why that is the case. They give up the field goal. Good coding. All right, here we go. Start of the third quarter. Focused on uh, running the ball inside because we're actually doing a little bit there and then stopping the short pass, which honestly has a really bad return by us, but isn't really even the concern. Evans, who obviously gets better run looks than uh, Tony House, is playing well, so why go away from what's working? Really bad blocking. What is that blocking? There was so much room. And we've run this play recently enough, I guess. And they won't let us run a different play, apparently. False start. Kennedy uh, sitting right there in the slot right in front of us. And that's a really good throw. I mean, considering there was a little bit of contact on that as well, he, he put it on the money. Great job by Dariq Young. Our out for Kennedy. See that route running? Tight ends back in. Cody making a count. First down. Albert owes him, but so is Mr. Cody. Play action. Let's see. Not going to get a chance to throw it, really, but gets it up there. And once again, Kennedy can't catch a contested ball. Again, he is, you know, pretty low rated, so... It is what it is. Finally, Tony House getting one of those better looks. Linebacker's a little bit closer up, in fairness, but... Uh, got a little too nonchalant, and Jalen Naylor now injured. Thought we were easily inside there, so... Probably should have done a little bit better, though. 
Tight end wide open. Perfect play. Truck him over. Kind of does, but also lays himself out with Merrick right there. Done. Could be our look. Maybe not. Inside, though. Young down to the five. Cooking up. Broken ribs for Jalen Naylor. Well, Drake Young looking pretty good. Getting himself a chance. Run inside for Evans. Tries to cut it. Nice stiff arm down to the two. Tony House. Yeah, I don't know about this. Is there a way I can, like, not do this? It's, uh, it's not. Okay, I guess we're under center anyways. If you say so. And that's why I didn't want that. I just knew that was going to happen. From the two, third and goal. Tony House for number two. Should have called the timeout. I didn't want to waste one because we might need it later, but should have called the timeout on that second down. It just wasn't a good play. And Tony House fights, gets it. Nice cut back, touchdown. First and 10, bringing a lot of players on the line because it looks like a run. And it's an option play. Leo Chanel kills him. Loss of one. And we're going to get aggressive here on second and 11. We're going to come with a, a bit of a heater. And good thing we did because they ran anyways. Gains the yard back, and now Nicobe Dean is injured. All right, Marcus Jones, little man. Let's see if he can get in there. Wilkins is in. Morris can't get off the block. Marcus Jones is not. It's a fumble. Morris picks it up. And he's in. Strip sack off the edge from Marcus Jones. Actually, it was Leo Chanel, I think it might have been. Either Wilkes or uh, Chanel. And it was Chanel. And he punches it towards Morris. And he recovers it for the touchdown. Miners on top by 11. All right. Looking good. Nino can't get off the edge. Oh, we just switched me to the wrong guy. I was going to kill him with Tyndall, but nope. Huge first down. Once again, Will Levis not even playing that well, uh, badly. It's just that that fumble was really bad. You know, he knew it was coming, too, because, like, uh, why else did he step out? He ran off. Kobe Dean already back in. We love it. And speaking of, one-on-one -on -one brings him down. Good stop. Blitz by Tyndall. Bishop. Bat. Let me turn around. Good hit by Bishop, forcing a third and three. I pressed him, and it just, like, it made me go forever. It was like, why? Like, why would you do this? Third and three? If it's go route, so we could be in some trouble. Zone coverage press. Can't get off the block. But is that Morris? Wow. Some nice plays here. Fourth and one. Like, I would go for that if I was them. Uh, maybe you should... Well, I guess I was wrong about maybe should have let it bounce because he did let it bounce, and they're now pinning us to the... Nope, he touched it, apparently. He's just chilling. Like, turn. Did that... That didn't touch us, did it? Where did that touch us? The ball never changed direction. Got a challenge. I have nothing to challenge, apparently. I have nothing. I guess it is technically a fumble, so it would have been automatically reviewed. The refs got it wrong. We've been screwed. And we're not going to stop them. They're back in it now. Where does that even look like it ever came close to touching him, though? I don't understand. Got a bunch of guys that aren't used to covering players. Covering players here. Quick out. And one of them being Allen. Need somebody to get aggressive. Knock the ball out. Do something. Instead of just trying to tackle him at the waist every time. It's just like they absolutely know what we're running every time. I run a stretch. They've got like 15 players to the side we're running the stretch to. House gates three. I almost said house gate. <laughs> Oh, I don't got that kind of money. I ain't got no damn house gate. Come back around. It's not going to matter from Kennedy, but just trying to mix it up, if you will. Tight end's looking really open. Albert, oh, nice freaking catch to the 45. I mean, on two catches, he's probably almost up to 100. I mean, not quite that much, but it's some pretty good games. Pretty good gainers. Oh, there's nobody. If he hits this, that would have been insane. Good play, though. That's why I wanted that athleticism. He's just... You know, he's made a couple of plays so far with his legs, but in general, you know, being able to extend the play and give himself a chance on that throw, uh, it's our fault. But it doesn't matter. His house still has enough juice to get it eight. House looking better and better each run. We like it. He's had two house calls, but I'd like to see, like, a legit house call, you know, a huge run. Nice cut. Tried to truck. Couldn't get it. Beautiful play. Uh, they want us to run a counter. They kind of know what we're doing here. It's like a weird... It's like a counter, is it? I mean, why would I do this? 
Yeah, that's going to be a penalty. Too much freaking offensive lines. Too stupid. Oh, another audible. I'm going to jump. It's like, really, dude? What are you jumping at? Read option would be good if there wasn't a corner covering literally no one out there, which scares the hell out of me. <laughs> I don't know what the hell I'm doing here. At least the tight end's open. Nice fight. Gets almost the first down. That's my boy. Run play. I mean, this is kind of like a cheap first down, but I don't really even care. Down to the 11. Not bad. And I did like the way they lined up, so I'm gonna I'm gonna hike or go with a pass here off of this look. I lied. Although Tony House could have three touchdowns down to the three yard line. Read option. Evans in touchdown number three for the team. It would be very interesting to see how this game would go if they had Josh Allen on the defensive end spot. I would imagine not well for us. Kink it off. Chanel. Misses the tackle. Oh, wow. Nice cut inside. Down to the 40. Nice little gain over about 15. Start of the fourth. They're only down 10, so it's anyone's game, especially since we got here off of a turnover, and you know we're damn well capable of, you know, causing our own turnovers. Or we force another turnover and win by a bunch. Who knows? Chanel off the edge. More of a coverage play. Try to step in there. We miss it. Good tackle attempt. He's still going down to the 38-yard line. Zeke cooking up. Like, it really doesn't matter how many players we have in the box. It doesn't matter, like, who's in the box. It doesn't matter what kind of rush we're running. We just suck on the ground. And even there. And then we miss more tackles. I mean, once again, back-to-back -back really good running backs that have abilities. But, oh, it's still painful. What is he taking so long to run over there, though? Like, what is he? what is he waiting for? He's hesitating when he knows exactly where the guy is. Like, uh, I don't understand. Do you think it was still... Oh, look at Morris. Morris with the sack. Laying down the hammer. What a freaking pummel. Clotheslined him, basically. Nice move. Boom. All right, man coverage has kind of uh, done it for us. Get off the block with Morris. And there goes McLaurin, the 14-yard line. These rookie corners, man, have not... Well, you know what I mean was a rookie corner not really playing well this season so far superstar and now trash i don't understand let's pinch him a little bit nicobe boom loss of a one yard i mean that should have been a fumble to be honest it should have been loss of possession but what a hit that is not bad at all chanel another read option this time they give it and there is a hold but a fumble Hit stick by Chanel, recovered by Antoine, and that's going to be a decline if you ask me, although I worry that, like, once if I decline and it's like, actually, it was down, but I'm pretty sure it was, yeah, boy. Not bad. Leah Chanel, another forced fumble. Boom. There goes Kennedy, the big man. Gets popped, gains about 10, though. I mean, I'm not an expert on clock management, or I definitely know that. But this looks pretty good for us. Play action, this kind of got us in trouble last time, but Kennedy wide open again. Turned into a big gainer. Down to the 36. You can tell the way they're lined up that they just don't have the leverage, which is why we threw it when we should be just running the clock out up 10. But I know I'm going to get like nearly 20 yards passing. I'm going to pass the ball. Evans trying to manipulate the lane. Didn't really do it. Gains two. Tony House on basically the same look. Maybe a little bit less linebacker help. See what he can do with it. And good cut. I mean, not really even a cut. Just kind of swiveled around him. Gains about six. Now we're going to go super heavy. We actually should just push this to the outside. And good enough blocks. Tony House shut off a little bit of speed. Goes out of bounds, but it's not even the you know five-minute mark, so it doesn't really matter. We talked about wanting Tony House to have a great performance. And this is, I mean, I would categorize as great. Very bad blocks on that play as he had a chance to go all the way out. Fullback should have just slowed it down. Fullback getting too excited, ex assuming his guys are going to do the right thing. You got to just slow it down, get to your guy. And that was just late. That could be picked. That was really weird. Like, he, he was so late off the line that he kind of covered two players, and I didn't know what to do. Kenny was going to get open, but I needed that guy to jump, and he just didn't. Speaking of Kennedy... Perfect play. First down again. This is uh, kind of how last game felt like, when, but we were on the defense. We were the Ravens in this case. And we're going to have another play action. This has been a little hit or miss all day long, though. 
Yep. Uh oh. <sighs> that could have been really bad. Yeah, if I'm them, I'm challenging that. So let's uh, take this ball, why don't we? Inside, perfect throw. Cody all the way down to the three. Four to be exact. That could have been a game changing play for the worse, obviously. Read option. And they don't see the quarterback. And there goes Fisher. All the time in the world on that celebration. Touchdown. Game over. Win number one. If that's the celebration you get hit with, you literally have no choice but to just leave the stadium. Like, you really don't. Swim. Oh, force fumble by Snead. Another touchdown. Is this not what happened like, literally against this team? I swear this might be the team that it actually happened to last time. We had a bunch of turnovers forced in the second half of the game. Sneed absolutely killed him. Boom. Defense cooking up the turnovers in this one. We love to see it. And they're going to run it. Why wouldn't you? Pa you know? Staying in the pocket hasn't done well. Even though we haven't really even pass rushed that well. It's just... Bad decisions by Levis, holding on to it at the wrong time, and wow, I thought that was picked. How the hell? Kobe Dean may even have himself a break. I mean, there's a lot of guys that can have breakouts at, you know, after this game. I mean, there's so many. Like, Leo Chanel forced the billion fumbles, Kobe Dean with a touchdown. Morris really deserves one. Be good timing, too, when Montgomery comes back, trying to make it easier for Morris as well. I mean, this was a really close game, and then they just fell apart. Try to swat it, and there goes Tyndall. Perfect coverage. Loss of four on the play. Scrambling to get back here. Oh, Zeke is just going to go. And sacked again with a rookie. Not bad. Keep it up, boys. This is this is nice. Try to spin. Not going to happen. And Bishop with the pick. Gets the block. Bishop running. Has enough speed to the five. What a play. RPO, handed off to House, doesn't get the help on the outside, fights it for a loss of one. I mean, we don't need to run in for a touchdown, but if it's there, why wouldn't I? You know what I mean? Why wouldn't I try to score again? Tony House, in! Thibodeau injured again. Clearly, he's not been healthy all game long, which has obviously affected their ability to get to the quarterback and stop these runs in general. They're trying to make it look a little better. Why not? If we don't have at least one breakout next week, I swear. Yeah, that's just going to be for pretty much nothing. I sneed him to do it again. Ah, I got chipped at the line. Good tackle. And no timeouts means the game will end 56-25. to 25. Many scores on defense, short fields, and just... An overall implosion of the Baltimore Ravens there at the end. I mean, it was a close game throughout. We were slightly leading, you know, most of the game, but real implosion right at the end. Them trying to, you know, climb back into a two deficit, two possession deficit, but that was really bad. Of course, that interception, bad decision, not a bad throw. I wish it was a bad throw. It might have actually gotten to the guy because if it would have been overthrown, it would have actually gotten to the tight end, but tight end was covered. Overall, very, uh, you know, even game for us. And finally, for the first time in, like, Miner's history, pretty much, we pressured more than we were pressured. A lot to do with injuries on their side of the ball, but still something, something to be happy about. Not as good of a performance as last week for Fisher, but still a grind and still really good accuracy. Tony House, way better yards per carry with three rushing touchdowns. Evans, 6.1 yards per carry with one rushing touchdown. Fisher had a rushing touchdown. Receiving, uh, Kennedy was pretty good. Uh, Cody was pretty good. Uh, I'm surprised he got to 89 with that injury. Fant with three receiving touchdowns on 30 yards for them. Tariq Young coming in for the injured and probably long-term injured Jalen Naylor uh, did all right. Albert O, two for 68 with the injury to Mr. Cody. Turner with 12 yards, nine for Naylor, nine for House, and Dunn with sadly nothing. Honestly, because of the size of Young, you probably put Dunn back in the slot, and if he does look really good again, he probably just plays slot when even when Naylor comes back. Couple of sacks, uh, you know, a couple of base sacks as well. Uh, wait, they only gave half to Snead. He was in on two. He was in on a forced fumble, and he was in on one of the ones that came out recently, and they didn't even give him the forced fumble. 
Did they give it to Benita? At least they did, apparently. Wow, okay, so Sneed got completely screwed, but at least somebody got the credit, I guess. So he comes in, forces the fumble, doesn't get credit for the fumble or the sack, but when he's the first one to the punch on a sack, he gets half only. I don't even know what to tell you. A couple of favorites getting some uh, love with the uh, upgrade point scenario. Okay, woo ba na ba do bum <laughs> Don't know why I said his name. Okay, boo uh, with a pretty good uh, upgrade there. I would love to see speed, but you know, it is what it is. Nicobe Dean, really good game. Speaking of speed, that is an ultimate upgrade. Speed, excel, two to block shed, a tackle, and a zone coverage. Now pointing him at 90 speed. He is him. Uh, of course, zone coverage is a little lacking for Jones, and we do play a lot of zone. I mean, in general, he's just a small corner. I don't know what else we could really do with him, but just going to give him a zone coverage, which gets him to 70, 69. Close enough. But that was a massive win against the Baltimore Ravens, who are just the Baltimore Ravens. I don't know. They're just not good in game. Jalen Naylor with broken ribs, similar to Montgomery, missing another four weeks. A different player this time, though, and Montgomery will be back next week. So we lose a wide receiver. We gain a DT. It's a decent trade-off. Going up against the Bills, who walked away, that ran away with the division. I think they lost to the Super Bowl, though, didn't they? Uh, probably bolstering maybe multiple breakout scenarios, at least on defense. Tony House would be a great one to have on offense. But defense, you would assume there's at least somebody. If there's not at least one breakout next week, I am riding because that is some bull. But should be a fun one in Buffalo. And hopefully you're there for it. If you enjoy, leave a like. Subscribe if you're new. If you're not new, Really appreciate continued support on the channel. And uh, maybe follow me on Twitter, Jump Care. Second channel, Care Plays for non content, which, uh, you know, recently enough uploaded Star Wars Jedi Survivor uh, gameplay. So maybe check it out. And that's it. Thanks for watching. Hope you guys come back for next video. But until next video, see ya.